There are two pressure gauges and one flow meter that are the core settings for the ozone to properly work. We will review how to set and adjust these items. The first item in setting an ozone system is checking the pressure and flow on the oxygen concentrator. If this is a new reclaim system, these settings should have already been set from the factory. First remove the cover on the oxygen concentrator. There are four screws that need to be removed. Inside the cabinet there is an hour meter, internal pressure gauge, and a regulator for the outside pressure gauge. On the right side of the unit, the pressure gauge should be set at 11 psi. If it is not, the adjustment knob located inside of the unit should be turned clockwise to raise the pressure to 11 psi. On the left side of the machine, with the tube disconnected, the flow meter ball should be set at 6. If you have a unit that has a scale of 0 to 100, the ball should be set to 60. Now connect the tube back up and make sure the connection is snug. You will notice that the ball on the flow meter may drop. This is okay since we are creating back pressure from the ozone unit. Setting the ozone unit is fairly simple. On the front panel there are a few lights, temperature switches, ozone output control, a power switch, breakers, an ozone cell pressure gauge, and the adjustment knob. To begin, the ozone cell pressure gauge should be set to 8 psi. This can be achieved by closing or opening the cell pressure adjustment valve until you achieve 8 psi. Note that you never want to fully close the adjustment valve. This will create a block of flow through the ozone system and can create more issues. If your HMI screen is showing a low pressure fault, the first thing we want to look at is the ozone cell pressure gauge. If your cell pressure is not at 8 psi, Use the cell pressure adjustment valve and set the pressure to 8 psi. This should clear the fault and you should start producing ozone. If the HMI screen is showing a low vacuum fault, we will need to first inspect the MOSI inductor. Remove the hose from the MOSI inductor and inspect the vacuum or suction with your finger. If there is no vacuum present, remove the mozzie from the machine. After removing the mozzie, inspect the inside to make sure it is not clogged. Remove the pipe fitting to access the check valve of the mozzie.
Inside there is a gasket, ball, and a spring. Inspect this area to make sure there is no clog as well. If the Mazi is clean, we may need to adjust the vacuum switch located in the ozone cabinet. Using a credit card or something similar, slide it into place so that the safety switch will be held down. Please be careful since there will be voltage present in the ozone cabinet. On the vacuum switch, the first thing is to loosen the gold locking ring. You may need a tool to loosen this ring. Now watching the blue ozone production light, we need to slowly turn the black body counterclockwise from the stainless body of the vacuum switch. As you turn the body, once the ozone production light comes on, you need to lock it into position with the gold lock ring. This should clear the fault and you should start producing ozone. 